This month on D-Link in Focus. The Netflix app has been released for the Boxy Box. The DCS 930L is encased in a block of ice. The DIR 655 is encased in a block of gelatin. We're gonna show you how to get the most from your USB share port on the back of your router. And we're gonna get started with some new devices. To much anticipation, the Netflix app for the BoxyBox has been released. If you already have a BoxyBox, I'm sure you've checked out the new interface. If not, here's a glimpse of what it looks like. As soon as you turn on your BoxyBox, you will notice it starts to download the new update automatically. If you're already familiar with Netflix, you'll be familiar with the main menu options. Suggestions for you, new arrivals, genres, instant queue, and search. Suggestions for you are Netflix recommendations based on your previous selections of movies and television shows you've already watched. A couple months ago, we took the DCS 930L and stuck it out in the rain. That left a lot of people asking the question, why would you do that? Well, we're at it again, and this time we're taking the DCS 930L and freezing it into a block of ice. Here's what happened. This time we want to see how cool is the DCS 930L. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera, stick it into this bag, tape it off, and stick it into this container, fill it with water, freeze it overnight, and see how the DCS 930L works when it's encased in ice. All right, the moment of truth. Let's okay. See. Anything? Hey, I see a light. You see a light? I see a blue light. Do you see that blue light? Yeah, we got an orange light on the front. Yeah. D-Link's USB share port is a great feature. It's already added to many routers and other NAS devices. With it, you can share your USB hard drive and printer over your home network. Here's how to set it up. Plug in a USB hard drive into the back of the DIR665 USB port. A solid USB light will appear on the front of the router. Click on it and the share port utility window opens up. Listed is our DIR665. Click on the connect button. In just a moment, autoplay will bring up our USB drive. There it is, right behind the window. Select open folder, and here is a text file located on my USB drive. Usually gelatin is left for dessert, but we decided to take the DIR655 and encase it in a block of gelatin. Why? Because we can. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, we've sealed off the DIR655 in plastic and did our best to waterproof the cables and antenna so no water gets inside because ultimately what we want to do is plug this in and see if we can get a wireless signal when it's in a block of gelatin. No thing I just thought of. Um, I hope this thing is waterproof. <laughs> now that we got our D-Link DIR655 out of the container, still in the jello mode, we wrapped it into some saran wrap to keep it all, all together. Now let's plug it in and see what we get. All right, all right, get into it. It's like a brick. When you first buy a router, a lot of people have a lot of questions on how to set it up. That's why we started the Getting Started series. This month, we took the DIR665, the 655, and the 825 and set it up beginning to end. Here's what it looks like. D-Link's Extreme N 450 Gigabit Router, also known as the DIR665. Let's see what's in the box. Plug the power from the wall to the back of the DIR655. When all lights on the front turn blue, you're ready to use the DIR655. On the front are the power and network activity light LEDs. On the side, WPS for easy configuration of devices, four LAN ports, and one internet port, USB share port, and we'll cover this in another video, reset button, and power. And of course, the two antennas. Thanks for watching this month's D-Link in Focus. Check back next month where we show you a bunch of great new products. See you soon.